Welcome to SAC Flight System 1.64 by Sachan. I'm going to show you how to put that system into your own 3D model boat like I have here. All right, let's get started. Hello everyone, Jen Obvious back with another SAC tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to put the SAC Flight and Vehicle System 1.64 by Sachan into your own 3D model boat. What I have here is a Terrain with the Silent Clearwater 2 uh, water shader in here. So before we even get to putting the SS1 SAC boat into our 3D model, this is a yacht model I found on the internet. Uh, low poly PBR great for VR so before we even mess with the vehicles you've got to check your water plane so let's check the water plane now this was a simple 3d game object plane when you drop it in and put the shader on it's gonna look like this the layer is default change this to water you'll notice a mesh collider on here remove it you're going to add component, box collider, and set it to trigger. That way the boats will trigger the water layer. All right, the next thing we want to do is unpack our models we put in here. So right click and unpack prefab. And you're going to do the same thing to the SAC SS1. You'll notice the Yacht PBR has got a layer of default. This is our model we put in here. Change this layer to walkthrough. And yes, you want to change the children. Alright, so that is set. Next, click on the SS1. And you'll notice on here that there are pilot seats, passenger seats, gunner seats, and colliders. All right, so let's move this over top of our 3D model boat and try to get it on there as best you can uh, so it kind of matches up with the controls and so forth. Uh, that, looks, that looks about right. That looks okay right there. And you're just going to see a jumbled mess right now. Don't worry, we're going to fix it. Okay, next thing you want to do is check all this out. Now the vehicle respawner, uh, it's right now it's in the water. You can just move it wherever. And let's go back to our SS1. Down here you're going to see SS1 mesh. Okay, that's the SAC mesh. You're going to have the gunner. That's on the original sack boat and side gunner and steering wheel. Now, since this is a yacht, we don't have any weapons on it. We're going to do away with the guns. But if you want the guns on your boat, you can take them out of this parent. Like we're going to do the steering wheel. And let's go ahead and move it to our yacht. All right. And if you want any of these others, do the same. So the SS1 mesh, delete it. Delete the entire thing. We don't need the guns. We don't need the mesh right now. So you're going to take your yacht, your new model, and you're going to move that down to here, SS1. Then you're going to move that up to just under the main SS1 controller. Okay, so we've got our yacht, we've got our mesh collider. We need to add a collider, a box collider, onto the boat. And of course it's going to be huge, so we've got to resize this down to the bottom of the boat here. And we may have to adjust the collider later depending on how it sits in the water. Um, the float script down here is what makes it float in the water, the float force. 
and we'll go we'll do that in a little bit but right now we're still working on the boat got the collider here um, and that looks good uh, the steering wheel if you want to use the steering wheel for the sack you should be able to move it and position it where you want it on the boat and it'll show up and you can spin it and all that stuff when you when you ride on the boat uh, for now we're gonna turn it off because we have a steering wheel here and let's see if I can get in closer the steering wheel on this model is separate so you can animate it later on in Blender or Unity and then attach that animation to the SAC uh, vehicle script animation script. Uh, next thing you want to do, very important this mesh right here for our 3D model is the Yacht PBR okay you want to go down to the SAC C vehicle and you need to change the mesh right now it says it's missing so you can go ahead and find it. Let's do yacht. So we want yacht PBR. And we have changed the mesh from the old SS1 to the new 3D boat. Alright, so we're gonna leave that alone for now. And the center of mass. Make sure that is in the center of your boat. So right now it's a little forward. Let's go ahead and move that back. Okay, so center of mass is good. Uh, effects controllers, these are the attached lights for the boat. Uh, you'll want to move those around and position them accordingly. Same way with that one. And you can move that around to your liking where you want them. And health smoke, uh, since this doesn't have, we're going to leave the explosion alone in case it gets blown up running into a bank or something. But let's check all these other ones. We'll leave the flares. All right, sound controller, that's fine. Uh, let's go down to the float script. Right now it's set at 5.5 five for the float force is 5. Let's leave that alone for now until we test it. Uh, pilot seat. Now you're going to have to adjust the pilot seat. Where you want to see where to go. Alright, let's move this. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. So, we'll probably want the pilot seat up there. And, of course, you're going to have to adjust the colliders um, the player's top of the head is the top of the collider so let's set up a little bit and you can see what I mean um, just to adjust your seat alright we're just going to do one for now and you do the same thing with the passenger seat, just move it to where you want it. If you do not want extra seats, just turn them off, like so. Gunner dial functions. Uh, we don't have any guns on this boat, so we are just basically going to turn this off. Um, okay. Let's turn the gunner seat off. We have no gunner. And if you notice, you know, you could, if you do have a boat that you want a gun on it, go ahead and keep it, move it where you want. Um, but for now, for this yacht, we are turning off all the turret functions. And hopefully the float force is okay, but we'll verify that. Uh, in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to put the Udon platform hook on your boat so you can stand, walk around. Right now, it's a walkthrough layer, so you'll be able to get in the pilot seat, the passenger seat, but you won't be able to stand on the boat. So, future video coming soon, guys. All right, so dial functions. Uh, go ahead and leave that alone. Oh yes, a very important thing we have to do is go down to in vehicle, 
that's where all your instruments are. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And you notice they're way down here. You got the throttle and all that. So we're going to move that throttle up to where we can see it. And I'm just going to put it in here for now. You all have to move it wherever you want to on the seat or, or wherever you want. Uh, stick display. Not your display here that you're going to use on the boat to control it. And yeah, it, you just got to maneuver it around and put it where you want uh, down on the dash and so forth. So it's going to leave it there for now. And of course, you've got all your different options on there. If you don't want any of them, turn them off. Uh, ATG screen, we're not going to have it on this boat, so basically delete and deleting that. The gunner, this pops up when you get in the vehicle. So we're just going to delete the gun. Now, like I said, if you want any of this stuff, just move it out of the parent and then you can put it back in later, okay? So but we're just going to delete all the gunner stuff for now. The next thing we want to do is click on float script. Collapse that. Very important. You'll notice that the float force is 5. Keep that where it is. You're going to want to click on these game objects here and make sure that these are at the water level that you want the boat to float on. So right now it's right here so we we want the boat to float along here so that's fine. Uh, it depends on the boat. You can move it if you want to, uh, depending on what kind of boat model you got. So that looks good uh, where it's at right now. Uh, if you want, you can adjust it uh, depending on what kind of 3D model boat you have, where you want it to sit in the water. Uh, we're going to leave it there for now. And we were doing it on the Y-axis, so easiest thing to do would be to copy that. And then you can put that in your y-axis on the other one so they'll all be the same. Okay. Alright, so I think we're done with the float script. Alright, I think we're ready to test it out. Let's go ahead and save and give it a spin. Alright, hopefully it'll all float and everything will work great. Now we don't have all the seats and everything adjusted, so we do have the pilot seat ready to go. Get into the pilot seat. All right, we're in the seats. Yes. Let's go back and check the respawn stick. Make sure that works correctly. There she is. Awesome. So that, my friends, is how you put the SAC vehicle system 1.64 by Sachan into your own 3D model. Hope everyone learned some stuff and uh, see you on the next video. I'm going to be doing the Udon platform hook so players can actually stand on your boat. Thanks everyone for watching the video. We'll see you next time.